There are so many different tech tools out there and as a new mom or new parent, it can be absolutely overwhelming to figure out which tech tools do you actually need, which ones are useful, and which ones are actually worth the money. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about why I think the Hatch Baby Grow is worth the money as a $149 changing pad. Let's get into it. If you are new here, hi, welcome. My name is Jenny. I am an elementary school teacher, a doctoral student, and also expecting baby number two sometime in July and have a baby that's also 15 months old currently. In this video, I'm gonna talk all about the different features of this particular scale and changing pad, which is the Hatch Baby Grow. So the Hatch Baby Grow, we actually got with our first child and we've been using the entire time from our first child and we'll be using it with our second child too. I'm gonna go over the features of it and also the pros and cons of why this might be worth it for you. First things first, do you need a $149 changing pad? No, no you don't. You don't need very much stuff for baby at all. Somewhere for them that's to sleep that's safe, things for them to eat, and things for them to put on their bottom to cover them when they use the restroom. And that's pretty much it. But this is one of the tools that we did invest in that I feel like actually paid off. I really like this tool. If you didn't know, our first child was a NICU baby. I will put her birth story right up here. She came home after 15 days in the NICU, so weight was something we were very concerned with. We wanted to make sure that she was gaining weight. So this is one of the particular appeals of this changing pad here. What this changing pad does is a couple of different things. First of all, it's just a changing pad. You can just change baby on it and you don't really even need to put a cover on it and it's wiped clean. So all you need to do if there's an accident on it is just go ahead and wipe it clean with a wipe. So that's a nice thing about this is that it's got a plastic texture to it. It also has a strap. If you would like to strap them down, it has a strap right here. The thing that I love the most about this is the ability to weigh baby while they're on the changing pad. Now, one thing I want to mention is it's within a quarter ounce, so you do want to be consistent. So make sure, let's say you're weighing baby in a diaper every time, make sure it's a clean diaper because obviously a wet diaper is going to weigh a lot more. So I'm going to show you a screenshot of what it looks like when you weigh them over here. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to need to replace the batteries first of all. This is battery operated. So Basically, you're gonna turn it over. The only pain in the butt thing about this thing is the fact that you actually need to unscrew the back of it and take off the cover in order to replace the batteries. The other thing that I think is a little bit of a con about this is the fact that the battery life is not so great. So you will change the batteries fairly often. However, considering what it does, I feel like it's still worth it to have those fresh batteries in here so you have accurate data. Once you're ready to weigh your baby, there's two different ways you can actually do it. You can just do a regular old weight or you can do a weighted feed. If you're planning on breastfeeding, a weighted feed can be so helpful because you don't know how much baby is actually eating from the breast. So you can weigh baby before feed and then actually feed your baby and weigh them again and see how many ounces they've been consuming. So that way you can make sure that baby's eating enough. If you go to a lactation consultant, for example, they will be doing weighted feeds just like that. So it's kind of nice to be able to kind of check in to make sure that baby is eating enough if you plan on breastfeeding. And as a new mom, that's something that can be very helpful is to be able to say, okay, I know that they ate 55 milliliters, so that's good. That's as much as they need to eat at a week old or however old they are. The other way that you can weigh them is just strictly weighing them. That's what we've been doing with Alice since she was born. I uh, mostly did pumping and feeding. So we just weighed her about once a week to make sure she was still gaining weight and that everything was on track. Now that she's over a year old, we don't weigh her as often, but for me, I like the peace of mind between my doctor's appointments to make sure that we're on the right track. I don't wanna to get to the doctor's office and be blindsided by the fact that, oh my gosh, my child has lost weight and I had no idea. So here is a clip of me weighing Alice. Basically, you're gonna open up the app and you're going to click on the weighing scale. You zero out the scale first to make sure it's at zero. Then you put baby on the scale. The only thing is, is if baby's moving a whole bunch, it's gonna take a second because it needs baby to be sort of still in order to get the accurate read on the weight. So once the weight is done, it will show you that it is all set and then you can press the okay button. And the cool thing is, is it saves all the historical weights too. You're actually able to compare the data in a handy little graph to see where they're, where they're ranking as far as their growth percentile. And you can make sure that they're still staying on their own growth curve. What I like about this app is if they're on a growth curve that is low, for example, 11%, you can still watch them grow along the 11th percentile to make sure that they're growing well and they're growing on their growth curve. Because one thing I know can be stressful is not knowing how much they should be weighing. They really should be weighing based on their growth curve. So if their growth curve is 11%, 
everywhere along that 11% is kind of where they want to be. So what I liked about this particular scale is I could actually track the growth curve too. So if you look at this picture right here, I'm going to actually put a picture of the different weights of my daughter. And you can see on the bottom, you see the percentile of their weight. So let's talk a little bit about the other features of this particular app. Some of them I really haven't used, but there's something that I wanted to mention because it is still useful to have and be able to use. So the first thing that you have on here is feedings. You can actually record feedings, you can time them, and you can do weighted feeds through the feeding screen. So I'm gonna show you a screenshot right here of what it looks like back when I was still trying to track Alice's feeds directly from the breast. But that's a very handy feature is you can actually track those weighted feeds and see how much she's been eating. This whole app is kind of like a one-stop shop that you can track everything. I know a lot of people use apps for a newborn and this is a good one to use especially if you have the hatch because you can track feedings in here, you can track diaper changes, you can track sleep, and you can also track, like I said, weight. For me, weight was the most important one to track because I wanted to make sure that my daughter was gaining weight. So I wanted to do a quick rundown of the pros and the cons of the Hatch Baby Grow and why I like it and a couple of the things that I've already mentioned that I'm not a huge fan of. So the first reason why I like it is that it is wipe clean. As far as a clean surface changing pad goes, I like this one a lot. Now here's the thing that I think makes the hatch worth the money. A lot of people like to get the Kikaroo peanut changer. That's a silicone texture and it's also wipe clean. That one I wanna say is about $120 and it does not have a scale attached to it. So I like the fact that this one actually is a little bit more, but it has a scale attached to it. So there's a little more utility there. You feel like you're getting a little more bang for your buck than just having a wipe clean changing pad for $120. Something else that I really like about this particular changing pad is the fact that I can track weight. And the weight is actually pretty accurate as long as you update your batteries often. The way I know that the weight is accurate is because I would usually weigh her before we went to the doctor to make sure that what the doctor was getting at the doctor's office and our scale were aligned so that there's not some big shock. Because I know a lot of people have had issues with the scale reading wrong or seeming like it's reading wrong and usually when that's the case all you need to do is change out those batteries that's what i found has been the biggest problem is those batteries one of the cons i've already mentioned to this is that the battery life for the batteries in this thing are not that great they usually last maybe i would say two weeks so you will need to change the batteries out fairly frequently to make sure that you actually get accurate measurements of your child's weight so that is definitely something you want to consider if you are getting this is that the battery changing needs to be frequent. The other con that I want to mention attached to the batteries is the fact that getting to the batteries is a pain in the butt. <laughs> you have to get a, one of those little screwdrivers to unscrew the plate on the back in order to replace the batteries. So when you're in a pinch and you're ready to change to um, weigh your baby, that can be kind of a pain in the butt to do. Something else that you need to keep in mind too when you're doing the weight is that you need to zero out your scale before you put baby on it. You can't zero out the scale when baby's already on it. So if you have baby on here and you're changing them, you can't just say, okay, you know what? Let's go ahead and weigh them. You can, but if you didn't zero it out, it might not be accurate. So that's something you wanna make sure that you're keeping track of if you want really accurate data on how much your baby is weighing. So last thoughts as far as the Hatch Baby Grow Changer goes is I think that this is absolutely worth it if you're the type of parent who is either A, breastfeeding and not sure if your child is transferring enough milk, B, a parent that has a NICU baby and you wanna make sure your child is still gaining weight, or C, you just like knowing that your baby is gaining weight and you wanna know that for sure. There are cheaper scales out there, but I like that this is a combo between a changing pad and a scale. So that's why I feel like this is actually a very worthwhile purchase if you have a gift card or it's something that you wanna invest in. We're gonna be using it for two children, so it definitely feels worth it to me because it has lasted and we use it all the time. You can buy this at Bye Bye Baby, Amazon, Target, most places have this, and I wanna say the last time I looked, I'll put a, a price right over here. It is 149, which is expensive, that's not cheap. It's an expensive changing pad, but like I said, having that peace of mind for me personally that my daughter is gaining weight and she's on her growth curve and everything's looking good is worth the $150 I spent, for sure. Are you planning on getting a Hatch Baby Grow for your child? Did you get a Hatch Baby and it didn't work out for you? Let me know in the comments down below. I would love to know if you have different opinions on these different tech tools that I've been using. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. I'm gonna be doing all sorts of new mom product reviews as well as milestone reviews, not only for my 15 month old, but also for my newborn once she is here. I appreciate you watching and I will see you next time. Take care.